Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Sunday. We've got 11 matchups on this NBA slate today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. Definitely helps out the channel. Check out all my betting links in the description below, guys. Really great offers with BetMGM. Bet5, get 150 in bonus bets. An amazing promo. Uh, they still got tons of other deals with DraftKings and FanDuel. So uh, go ahead and check those out in the description below. And yeah, we'll hop in it here. Big slate as we close out the weekend. Starting with the Milwaukee Bucks versus the Philadelphia 76ers. Bucks opening up as a five and a half point road favorite with the over under at 234. Bucks coming into this matchup 36 and 21. The Sixers 33 and 23. Head to head the Bucks 7 and 3 in the last 10 head to head meetings. Um, don't see any major injuries here. Bucks coming off a big Minnesota win. Uh, that was a big win for them. Philly uh, coming off a nice Cleveland win. Big win for Philly. Uh, yeah, for Philly. You know, they were struggling with those two losses right there. Milwaukee 10 and 3 against Philly. 4 and 1 on the road against the Sixers here. Sixers just 1 and 7 covering at home. Uh, they have not been that good at home. The unders hit of the Bucks nine of their last 11 games. Then the unders hit of the Phillies four of their last five games. So maybe the unders will go play today. I like the Bucks though. Prove they could win a nice road game in Minnesota. And uh, without Embiid, I just don't trust the Sixers team. So I'll take the Bucks minus five and a half and money line on the road. Next matchup, we've got the Los Angeles Lakers versus the Phoenix Suns. Uh, Suns opening up as a four point home favorite with the over under at 241 and a half. Lakers coming into this matchup 32 and 27. The Suns 33 and 24. Head to head, the Lakers two and one in the last three head to head meetings. Uh, the Lakers coming off a Spurs win. Uh, Lakers surprisingly playing pretty well, seven and three in their last 10 right now. Phoenix coming off a tough Houston loss. They're on a two-game losing streak. LeBron and Anthony Davis both questionable, kind of like always. Uh, no Bradley Beal for this matchup. Uh, the Lakers, they've been good head-to-head, -head, but on the road. They're just 1-5 on the road against Phoenix. Phoenix currently 7-0 at home, 5-1 at home against the Lakers here. This one's a tough one here. Um... I don't know. Lakers are playing well here, but on the road, I don't know if I trust them. And uh, I like the Suns. They're, it's a good spot for the Suns on a two-game losing streak. Tough Houston loss. A game they really should have won, honestly. And uh, I like the I like the Suns to bounce back. They play good at home. Give me the Suns minus four in money line. Next matchup, we got the Dallas Mavericks versus the Indiana Pacers. Dallas opening up as a one-point road favorite with the over-under at 253.5. Dallas coming into this matchup 33-23. and 23. Indiana 32-26. and 26. Head to head Dallas 2-1 and one in the last three head-to-head -head meetings. Um, don't see any major injuries here. Dallas, uh, they're playing best basketball they've played all season. They're on a seven-game winning streak right now. Coming off a big Phoenix win. Pacers on a two-game winning streak, coming off a nice Detroit win. Yeah, the Mavs, 4-1 uh, and one covering on the road right now, 6-1 and one covering the spread. Unbelievable run there, right now. Luka, Kyrie, Ben Ballin. Ever since they got made that trade for Gafford and P.J. Washington, the Mavs been playing very nice basketball here. And uh, yeah, I mean, in a one-point spread, look, it'll always be a biased pick. And a one-point spread. We got the Mavs playing elite basketball right now. Yeah, give me the Mavs money line uh, on the road here. Next matchup, we got the Cleveland Cavaliers versus the Washington Wizards. Cavs opening up as a 12-point road favorite with the over-under at 235. Cavs coming into this matchup 36-19. and The Wizards 9-47. and Head-to-head -head Cleveland 8-2 and in the last 10 head-to-head -head meetings. Uh, looks like Donovan Mitchell's good to go. He missed the last two games. 
Cleveland on a two-game losing streak coming off a Philly loss. Washington, uh, they've lost their last 10. Uh, yeah, coming off a 147-106 to 106 loss against the Thunder. Just a horrible loss they're coming off of. Uh, Cleveland 7-0 against Washington. 5-1 covering against Washington. They've been very good against the Wizards here. Wizards currently 0-13 at home where they've been uh, pretty bad. And um, yeah, getting Donovan Mitchell back is a huge addition here. And uh, I think I'm going to have to roll with the Cavs minus 12 and money line on the road in this one. Next matchup, we've got the Chicago Bulls versus the New Orleans Pelicans. Pelicans opening up as a three and a half point home favorite with the over under at 222. Bulls coming into this matchup 26 and 30. The Pelicans 34 and 23. Head to head, the Pelicans 2 and 1 in the last three head to head meetings. Chicago on a two game losing streak coming off a Boston loss. Pelicans uh, coming off a bad Miami loss. Uh, no CJ McCollum. Brandon Ingram questionable. Zion questionable. Yeah, a lot of injury concerns for this Pelicans team here. Chicago currently 5-1 and one covering on the road. 4-2 and two covering the spread. I'm liking the Bulls plus the points on the road. No CJ. Brandon Ingram and Zion are questionable here. And... Um, yeah, I think I'm going to roll with the Bulls plus three and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Denver Nuggets versus the Golden State Warriors. Warriors opening up as a one point home favorite with the over under at 231. Nuggets coming into this matchup 38 and 19. The Warriors 29 and 26. Uh, head to head, we got. Denver 7 and 3 in the last 10 head to head meetings. Uh Denver on a two game winning streak coming off a Portland win. Warriors uh, on a three game winning streak. They're 8 and 2 in their last 10. Warriors are playing very good right now. Uh Jamal Murray and KCP are both questionable, so be sure to check their injury statuses. Uh, this is a tough game here. Denver currently 6-0 against Warriors. They've been dominant against the Warriors. Warriors 8-1 in their last nine. 8-1 covering the spread. I mean, yeah. Warriors are playing great right now. Um, tough. Denver on the road. Coming off you know, two good wins against Portland and Washington here. Uh, but struggled against the, you know, the good the, the solid teams, you know, bad loss to Sacramento, bad loss to the Bucks, another loss to Sacramento, another loss to the Thunder. Um, crazy, but I like the Warriors at home today. I, I don't hate the Nuggets on the road here, but uh, Warriors are hot right now, and uh, they got a lot of momentum. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to take a shot with the Warriors money line at home today. Next matchup, we got the Oklahoma City Thunder versus the Houston Rockets. Thunder opening up as a six-point road favorite with the over-under at 234. Thunder coming into this matchup 39 and 17. Houston 25 and 31. Head-to-head, -head, Houston 6 and 4 in the last 10 head-to-head -head meetings. Don't see any injuries for this matchup here. OKC on a four-game winning streak coming off a Washington win. Houston coming off a big Phoenix win in their last game. Uh, OKC, if you look at the numbers, that you know they're just two and five against Houston. Haven't been the best against the Rockets here. Rockets are just two and four covering the spread. Two and six in their last eight. I mean, they haven't played very well here. Definitely a winnable game for OKC. They're on the you know they're hot right now. Four game winning streak. I think they can beat Houston here, and uh, I'll take the Thunder minus six and money line on the road. Next matchup, we got the Orlando Magic versus the Atlanta Hawks. Magic opening up as a one-point road favorite with the over-under at 226. Magic coming into this matchup 32 and 25. The Hawks 24 and 32. Head-to-head, -head, Atlanta 7 and 3 in the last 10 head-to-head -head meetings. Uh, no Trey Young for this matchup here. So, uh, yeah. 
Orlando on a three-game winning streak. They're coming off a game winner against Detroit last night. Um, Atlanta on a three-game losing streak here. The Magic, 5-0 and covering against Atlanta. Been good covering, 9-3 and covering the spread. Very good covering the spread, this Magic team here. And yeah, no Trey Young. That's why the Magic are the favorite. I think the Magic should be the favorite here with how poorly the Hawks have been playing. And no Trey Young. Give me the Magic money line on the road. Next matchup, we got the San Antonio Spurs versus the Utah Jazz. Jazz opening up as a 6.5 point home favorite with the over-under at 241. Spurs coming into this matchup 11 and 46. The Jazz 26 and 31. Head to head, Utah 2 and 1 in the last three head to head meetings. Um, don't see any major injuries here. Spurs 1 and 9 in their last 10. Uh, on a three game losing streak. Uh, Utah, they're on a five game losing streak here. Uh, yeah, they're not playing that great right now. Spurs. Yeah, I mean, the numbers are very bad for the Spurs there. With 3 and 9 on the road against Utah. 1 and 7 on the road with the Jazz. 0 and 5 covering the spread. 1 and 4 covering at home. Just an ugly matchup here. Um, Spurs, luckily, the last two games, they've been double digit favorites or double digit underdogs the last two games, and they've got the cover. Um, but man, they've had so many games where they've gotten blown out, and uh, only a six point spread. The last time they were a plus six, they lost by actually, last time they were plus six, they won, they beat Toronto, but the time before that, they lost to Brooklyn by 20 and then lost to the Magic by 10 as six point underdogs here. Uh, Utah is nine and three at home against the Spurs. I think it's a good spot for the Jazz here. And uh, I'll take Jazz minus six and a half in money line at home. Next matchup, we got the Charlotte Hornets versus the Portland Trailblazers. Portland opening up as a three point home favorite with the over under at 214. Hornets coming into this matchup 14 and 42. Uh, Portland 15 and 40. Head to head, Portland 8 and 2 in the last 10 head to head meetings. Uh, no LaMelo ball. That's really the only injuries here. Charlotte coming off a Warriors loss. Portland, they are on a seven game losing streak right now. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of just an ugly game here. I mean, another ugly game. Charlotte is 4 and 1 covering the spread in their last five. Um, Yeah, I think I'm gonna take a shot. I just don't, I wouldn't trust the favorite in this game, so uh, I'm gonna take a shot with Charlotte plus three on the road. In the last matchup, we got the Sacramento Kings versus the Los Angeles Clippers. Clippers opening up as a six point home favorite with the over under at two forty and a half. Kings coming into this matchup thirty two and twenty three. The Clippers thirty seven and eighteen. Head to head, Clippers two and one in the last three head to head meetings. Uh, Sacramento on a two game winning streak coming off a Spurs win Clippers coming off a Memphis win uh, Sacramento just two and five covering the spread right now Clippers 15 and three at home uh, where they're very dominant and um, I think it's a good spot for the Clippers I like the Clippers here play great at home and um, yeah late game slate give me the Clippers minus six and money line that's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Sunday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Monday. Have a good one.